Hey there, welcome back to our next class. And in this class, we'll learn about data type and variable misconception. And the next topic would be variable declaration. How do we define a variable? So from our previous class, we know that variable can store data or a constant. And what type of data or a constant it will store? That depends upon the data type. What data type we are defining? Is it a character? Is it a numeric? Or is it a date type? Data type are like templates, blueprints of variable. While programming in a BAP, we need to use a variety of variable to store various information. Variables are nothing but reserved memory location to store values. This means that when you create a variable, you reserve some space in memory. You may like to store information of various data types like character, integer, date, etc. Based on the data type of a variable, the operating system allocates the memory and decide what can be stored in the reserved memory. So data type does not occupy any space in memory, but variable created from that data type occupy memory in RAM. So these are all the different types of variables that we can create with the help of data type. So it's usually said that the number of data type available for that programming language will be equal to the number of variable type we could create. So over in this case, there are six type of data type present that is character, numeric text, date, time, integer, and pack decimal. So for these data types, we could create variable types as well. So variable stores data of different data types defined in our program, which can be of type character, integer, date, decimal, etc. Using one data type, we can create n number of variable. Data type does not occupy any space in memory, but variable from data type occupy memory in RAM. This is one of the most important concept which students usually get wrong. To explain it more clearly, you can consider this terminology of a data type to be as a blueprint of a house and from that blueprint you can create a number of houses from it. So in our next slide, let's take that so that you can clearly understand the difference between the data type and a variable. So this is a blueprint of a house and from that blueprint, we are creating physical house. So let's suppose from one blueprint, we are creating four houses in this fashion. So a data type is basically, it's kind of a blueprint, whereas four physical houses is kind of a variable. So no memory or space allocation is done when a blueprint is created. So a blueprint can be kept in your pocket also. So no memory or space allocation is required. Whereas in case of a variable, since it is physically present, memory or space is allocated to it. And finally, you cannot store value in case of a data type. It's just a basic plan. It's a structure. Whereas in variable, we can store values. Like once a house is built, we can store objects into it. So this is what is the difference between the data type and a variable. A data type is virtual, but it holds properties like what is the data type of that field? Is it character? Is it date? Is it time? And what is the length of it? And a variable holds a physical memory in space. So whenever a program is executed, certain bytes of memory is allocated to that. Now in this slide, we are comparing the different data types that are present in ABAP versus BW. So in our left hand side, we have got the data types that are present in BW. On our right hand side, we have got a data types which are present in ABAP. So they are pretty much same. It's just that the data type that are present in BW are derived from ABAP itself. So a character type of info object is nothing but a character type of data type in ABAP whose length is mandatory. And same is for numeric character in a BW stands for numeric in ABAP whose length is mandatory. And that's DATS in BW stands for date. And if you're looking to create a date type of variable, you can define it as D in ABAP. Similarly for times and integer for amount and quantity in BW for amount. When we are creating a key figure, the amount field is defined as two decimal places. Whereas for quantity, it is defined as three decimal places. And if you're looking to define uh, an amount or quantity in your program while using an ABAP, you can use a P that is a packed decimal data type. So variable declaration, every statement starts with a keyword except for assignment statement. 
Now, when we'll be doing a program, you will clearly understand that whenever we are writing an ABAP code, the first word of every statement or every line would start with a keyword in ABAP. Except if we are doing any assignment, like if we are saying A equal to 45. In this case, we are not giving any keyword at the start of this statement. So for assignment statement, we do not give any keyword. And apart from that, whenever we are coding in ABAP, the first word of the statement would be a keyword. So keyword used for a variable declaration are data and parameters. So if you want to declare any variable, you would write data. If you look at the bottom example, data, company name, type C is the character and length. We are defining it as 60. So this is how basically we define the data type. And the other way of defining a variable declaration that is through parameter. In this, in the back end, the SAP creates a, a selection screen wherein an end user gives some value through the keyboard and it is stored in that field or variable. Memory is allocated when a variable declaration is done. Let's take further more examples. Let's store a constant in below variable declaration. So data company underscore name type C. There is a character of length 60. So as soon as this statement is executed in the RAM of a, the application server creates a reserves some bytes of memory location and it assigns its name as company underscore name whose length is 60. Now when next statement is executed that is company name equals cogent tutorials then that cogent tutorial is stored in that reserved location. Another thing that we should note over here is even though we have given a single quote as a delimiter that is not stored in our target location. As per the syntax of ABAP, whenever we are assigning a value to a character type, it should be given in single quote. Except for integers, any other data type we give single quote while giving an assignment statement. So this is how we have done the declaration of company name type C length 60. For a data type as a numeric, Let's suppose we are taking a customer ID, which is a 10 digit long numeric number. Or if you are, want to create a date type variable, like created on data, created on and type D. For type data, create underscore time, type T. For age, type integer and amount, type P decimal 2. Over here, P stands for pack decimal and 2 stands for the two digits after decimal. So it has the ability to store values such as 23.24. Material quantity, again, it's the same type, but now it is having three decimals, has the ability to store three values after decimal. And finally, the parameters, P underscore cust name type C length 40. So whenever this code that will be running in our coming class, you will understand how the memory allocation is done and how the value is stored in it. And for parameters, how an end user gives the value, which goes into the backend and stores at P underscore cust underscore name. And also while declaring a variable, we cannot provide any spaces or special characters or any word which is reserved by SAP. For example, data or type or decimal. These all purely cannot be used as a name of a variable. You must add some number or underscore at the start or at the end or at the middle in order to use it as a variable. So these are all the different data types that are present in a BAP. And what initial value does it store whenever it is being declared in our program at the very initial stage? And what is the maximum value and the minimum value it can store for a character? Whenever it is declared, initially it stores zero but it has the capability to store the values from 1 to 65,535. Similarly for date, it initially stores all eight zeros as its length is of eight character. Float and integer, float is of eight byte, integer is of four byte, numeric text. Initially, whenever it is declared, it will store only a zero value, but however, it has the ability to store the numbers from 1 to 65,535. And lastly, the string and the X string variables. A maximum of 255 characters they can store. 
starting from 0 to 255. So in the next class, we will be taking each and every declaration and placing it into our program and debugging it, how it behaves in the back and how the values are being stored in it. So that's all for this class. Thank you.